everybody, it's Nina and I'm here with Newton's Nook Designs, featuring one of our September release stamp sets, Newton Loves Coffee. As Newton's Nook is participating in this month's Coffee Lovers Blog Hop, I'm going to be creating a gift card holder. Um, so I wanted to create a card that had a panel that flipped up to reveal the gift card. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm using some of the coffee cups that are featured in this stamp set. And I'm going to be doing a lot of masking and stamping here to uh, create my little scene. So right now I'm just kind of playing around with the placement of the stamps as I'm going along. I'm inking up the Newton and the coffee cup right now and uh, stamping that behind the coffee cup that I already stamped. I'm going to go ahead and create a mask now using that Newton. Do that on a sticky note and I'm going to go ahead and then fussy cut that out as well. Just taking my scissors. I'm using my Misty stamping tool to do this um, because I like the way that the Misty gives me uh, some great control on how I um, stamp my images. And it also allows me to fix any mistakes that I make along the way if I don't ink the, uh, the stamp correctly or it doesn't stamp fully. It also allows me to get perfect placement of all my images as well. So I'm going to go ahead and make a mask for this one and then I'm almost done. I've got one, uh, two more stamps to go. I'm going to stamp this one onto some um, sticky notes, cut that out, and I'll go ahead and make a mask for this one. And now I'll go ahead and use this little coffee cup on the left, um, left hand side. And then I realized I needed to have um, something to mask off the border of this panel. So I just took some tape and I peered that down. And now I'll go ahead and stamp my cup again. Ink that up with Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I'm using this ink in particular for some Copic coloring that I'm going to do. And I originally thought I was going to use this tall coffee cup for this, but then I decided I liked the shorter one better. So I'm going to go ahead and use that same one that I had just previously stamped. Mask off the bottom there and then go ahead and ink that up. So now I'm working on figuring out what I want to do for the sentiment. And I decided to go with uh, a birthday brew just for you. Thought that would be cool with the uh, gift card theme. Then I'll go ahead and ink that up with VersaFine uh, Black Onyx ink. And I'll clear heat emboss this then once I've got this all stamped out. So I'll take this out of my Misty stamping tool. And I'll remove all the tape from this. We don't need that anymore. Although I will save the pieces because we're going to go ahead and use that later on uh, for some ink blending. So now I'll just take my clear embossing powder and apply that over top of my little sentiment here. And then I'll heat set that. So now I'm working on the background. And I'm taking some Twisted Citron Distress Ink. And I'm going to be blending in some bright color here. I wanted to go with a really bright and uh, fun color scheme for this card. So the Twisted Citron was a perfect backdrop color for this. Once I've got the background all blended out, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a uh, stencil, which is from Simon's Stamp. It's a dot stencil. And I'm going to go ahead and ink that up with some Cracked Pistachio Distress Ink. Uh, the Cracked Pistachio went really nicely with the Twisted Citron and uh, also worked well with my color scheme. So I'm just going to tape that down so it doesn't shift while I'm inking over top of it. And I'm using a heavy hand with the ink. And I'm not going all the way to the top. I'm going to let it fade out as it goes along. But I'm really concentrating on getting some dark color down along the bottom. So I'm going to remove the mask from the bottom part. And I'm going to take that and adhere it on the other side of this uh, line here. And I'll go ahead and start inking the uh, table of my little design here. This little mask was giving me some trouble so I just taped it down with some tape. I started off with fossilized amber and now I'm taking some tea dye distress ink and I'm adding in some shading. I then will take some uh, walnut stain and add in some darker colors just along the edges of the cups. I liked this color scheme because it really reminded me of some coffee stains and uh, colors so it worked well for this card. So again, just focusing on this darkest color along the tops of or the bottoms of the cups. And I'll then go ahead and blend this out with some tea dye. 
So now I can remove all my masks, and this is the fun part, revealing all of the uh, neat blending that you've done. Now I'm going to take my Copic markers and I'm going to add in some shading. I'm going to list all the colors that I've used along the top portion of the screen here so you can uh, replicate this if you'd like. Right now I'm just working in on adding some shading with some browns and some warm grays. Focusing on adding in that contrast so that way everything pops. So once I finish coloring all these cups, then I'll come back and we'll finish the rest of the card. So now that I finished all the cups, I'm coloring in Newton. I used some light uh, skin tone browns f at first for Newton, uh, but he, I felt he was a little bit too light, so I did end up adding in some darker colors. And I also used some warm grays to create a little patch along the right side of his ear. So just blending all these colors out, you can see this is a pretty light version, and then I'll start bringing in the darker colors and uh, darkening up all these areas. This stamp set's really fun because you can create all sorts of really neat coffee themed cards and there's plenty of sentiments to uh, cover about just about every type of card you're going to need. So that finished off the panel. I did add some pretty pink posh sequins as well as some glossy accents over top of the cups. And on the inside, I created a background pattern using all those cups and the coffee beans and just edged everything with the uh, Twisted Citron Distressing. And that completes my card. I hope you've enjoyed. Be sure to stop over at my blog for the complete list of the blog cup participants and also to see more of the September Newton's Nook design release. And thanks so much for stopping by. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you again soon.